right? I mean, which is crazy. Which yeah. is which is so, so much of what the, the what we found so interesting about the the justification for this love that a lot of the subjects we've covered had for these chimpanzees was that they love me. You know, they do these things with me. I've I've I've, I've trained them to believe that they have feelings for me and I have feelings for them. We have this understanding, and I feel I feel what we've realized is this kind of imbalance of of um, this this mutuality of caregiving that I think exists with a lot of our our subjects that we cover, but also some of the chimpanzees. But it's so, very, very incredibly selfish around the symmetry of needs. Being but that. it's so disturbing. You know, you have a beautiful lab, a dog, that, you know, Tanya says, you know, constantly how much she loves this chimp Tonka, but the chimp is like incarcerated in you right. know, this cage. It's like, Tanya, if you really love this chimp and Tonka loves you back, why the cage? Right. You know, you don't have a cage for your dog. Right. And it just seems so obvious. Like, Tanya, this chimp does not love you the way you love it. Well, I think it does, but it also doesn't have a choice, right? So if Tanya lived in the jungle, if she had a shack in the jungle and the chimp lived in the jungle wild and free, how much would the chimp visit her? First of all, it wouldn't be eating chicken nuggets and drinking Coca-Cola, which is weird, too. That she's feeding this thing, and she said it has congestive heart failure. Spoiler alert, again. <laughs> it's still good. You still got to watch it, folks. But if you give a person that, they fucking get sick. Like, nothing you're doing to that chimp yeah. is natural. The cage is not natural. The food's not natural. Nothing's natural. You know one of the saddest things for me? was when she was showing it Instagram reels uh, and just scrolling yeah. through reels and the chimps just staring at the screen. That, is, that was the weirdest one. That's really disturbing. That, that, for that whatever, but meanwhile, I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, but that's a, lot of, that's a lot of the sentiment we see from people but, is the reaction to we, that. We are basically doing that ourselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're doing but it to ourselves. You're not but looking at, least, at your son. Uh, you can make a choice. Yeah, sure. I'm going to put this down. Sure. And I'm going to go out in the real world sure. and have fun with human beings and have a good time with my friends. You can make those choices. The chimp doesn't have a choice. It's essentially a prisoner for no reason, and it likes the guard. And that chimp, you know, Tonka was looking at its kids. Yeah, in that footage, you know, yeah. and whether it, Tonka knew it or not, but and Instagram was yeah. looking at a bunch of things, but just staring at the screens. But I don't think it probably understood that those were his kids, but it probably yeah. did yeah. remember what it was like to have babies, you know, and to be outside. Yeah, and sitting and outside. there in that cage in the basement, looking at these chimps washing a Mercedes that's outside. You know, we both still talk to Ta Tanya almost daily or communicate with Tanya. Oh, my God. And it's the most bizarre communication because, you know, we don't you – know, everyone thinks I lied to Tanya about this film. She would have talked to me anyway. I'm convinced of that. And when I did come into the picture, she didn't skip a beat. And she was like, oh, it's you. Let's, let's keep filming for another year and a half. But she continues to talk with us, and we continue to tell her, Tanya – you know, maybe this is an opportunity for you to rethink and reinvent yourself, you know, like it's anyway, it's, it's really interesting. Yeah. Well, it doesn't seem like she has a lot of self-reflection with all due respect, uh, I know. which, in, you know, it's hard not to be compassionate with a lot of these people, to be honest. Right. It's really hard because well, I they're do, humans. They're human. Well, especially yeah. Tanya, because she led us into her life in such an intimate way that, you know, it was, you know, she was really generous that way. Um, so it isn't black and white. There's a lot of gray. Right. I understand I understand like an audience reaction, though. I, and, and you can have those kind of conflicting views on it. But uh, being part of making it is, you know, we're partially complicit to it, too, as well. I mean, in a way of, um, of sharing that story, in a way. Well, you know, there's the age-old term, with great power comes great responsibility. It is a great responsibility to uh, hold a large chimpanzee in your house. That is a great power. It is an enormous responsibility. And she should not have the option to have that responsibility. Yeah. She's not capable of managing that situation. It's, it's, I don't think anybody's capable of it. I think the same way, I just think dolphins, we're lucky that they're nice. That's what, what I think. <laughs> we're lucky that they're nice. Because they, shouldn't, they should be killing us every a chance they rapist. can, too.